What's going on guys? It's your boy Troy here. If you're new to the channel, you should consider subscribing. In this video, we're going to go through the gameplay of the latest WWE crossover mobile game for iOS and Android. That is the King of Fighters All-Star. The crossover began a few days ago, and now there's about, as of this recording, uh, 17 days left in the crossover. So if you're into your crossover um, WWE with anything, Basically, then yeah, give this game a go, especially if you're into uh, sort of Streets of Streets of Rage sort of uh, game for your mobile. With this crossover, you have six WWE superstars you'll be able to select from. You have Seth Rollins, Becky Lynch, Kofi Kingston, John Cena, The Undertaker, and the People's Champion, The Rock. Uh, how to get these characters? It's through a sort of uh, loot box system where it's pretty randomized so it was very hard to say get John Cena compared to getting Seth Rollins and that's who I end up getting in this uh, gameplay oh with some person Popo now um yeah so I was able to get Seth Rollins um it was one of my last sort of loot boxes to get I got a lot of other fighters from the King of Fighters series um itself like from the late 90s uh I believe I got Terry Bogart on my team Andy Bogart I think it's Andy Bogart sorry um but yeah, I don't mind how they kept the uh, burn it down Seth Rollins theme on here too, so that's outdated already, but yeah, I guess it would have been better to have the burn it down one instead of the Monday Night Messiah. I'm not usually into my mobile games, but this is a uh, pretty uh, easy uh, to play sort of game where you just pick it up, you swipe uh, left to right with your uh, left hand, and then on the right side of your phone screen, you can tap buttons on what... Uh, attack you want to do, whether you just want to do a normal attack, or a combo, or a special attack. So it's pretty easy to play, anyone can give it a go, oh that's right, any Bogard. Um, anyone can give it a go, and yeah, it's just a good uh, time killer I reckon. As for the second half of the video, I'll probably give the, I guess, spoilers that some people might not want to hear, so if you don't want to hear spoilers about this game, um, you might want to put me on mute. <laughs> However, for those that want to know what the game's about in case they are interested in uh, downloading the game and giving it a shot, or they just want to know the story of the game without having to play it, I'll give it to you right now, so get ready for that now. So this is how the story goes. Three WWE superstars, Kofi Kingston, Seth Rollins, and Becky Lynch, are invited to a tournament by an unknown figure. Kofi knows about the King of Fighters history. Seth and Be Becky were unsure about participating in the tournament but Geese insisted that they should compete. The superstars then encountered the competitors throughout the tournament, such as the women's fighters team, the American sports team, Kim's team, the art of fighting team, and the 1997 special team led by Geese's henchman, Billy Kane. After the superstars defeat the Fatal Fury team, they finally go face to face with Geese Howard, then they defeated Geese and won the tournament. As both Kofi and Becky celebrated their victory, however, Seth suddenly disappeared and took out Billy, announcing that he defeated Geese, thus taking over as the new crime lord of Southtown. One of the WWE legends and the people's champion The Rock was invited by an unknown figure in the King of Fighters tournament, where his first opponents are Terry Bogard and his pupil, Rock Howard, son of Geese Howard. After defeating them, The Rock encountered the Ikari team, followed by the Three Sacred Treasures team and the Orochi team, where Yoshiro informed him that the Orochi will soon be resurrected. However, The Rock does not care for any of that stuff, as he proceeds to defeat the Orochi team. In the final match, The Rock went face to face with Orochi, using Chris as his vessel. However, after he was defeated, Orochi became annoyed with The Rock's ego, and decided that he will return to nothingness. The Rock did then celebrate his victory by having a feast with Terry and Rock Howard. The next WWE legend is John Cena, where he was invited by an unknown figure to the tournament, his first match is against Kyo Kasangji and Shingo Yabuki. After winning, Cena took Shingo as his new pupil for the tournament and encountered his opposing teams such as the Fatal Fury team, the agent team with Seth Rollins, whom Shingo thought it was Agent Seth from the King of Fighters 2000, and the Yagami team. Cena then reached to the final match against the CEO of Ness and the self-proclaimed god Ignis. After John defeated him, Ignis was about to activate a bomb to blow up his base. However, Shingo managed to get Hydern and all units to deactivate the bomb, 
foiling Ignis' last-ditch effort. Ignis became disappointed, but suddenly Cena suggested that Ignis should be a, a pharmacist to make some medicine. After that, Cena went with Kim Kapowa to the army that he mentioned. In the epilogue, Chang and Choi found a shiny golden urn, unaware of whom does that object belong to. The last of the WWE legends is the dead man walking himself, The Undertaker, where he was invited by an unknown figure to the tournament. His first match is against Chang Kohan and Choi Bonj, who are trying to steal that golden urn. After winning, The Undertaker fought the other teams, such as the American Sports Team, the K Team, and the Yagami Team, as his opposing teams felt their presence from him when they heard a bell toll sound and saw a mist out of nowhere. He then reached to the final match to go up against Omega Rugal, the real host of the tournament. The Undertaker defeats him, but in a last ditch effort, Rugal activated the self destruct sequence to blow up his base and then he disappeared. The Undertaker vows to take Rugal's soul one day the next time they meet each other. One month later, the King of Fighters tournament has been announced, and the American sports team are the first team to fight, but suddenly they felt the presence that is very familiar to them. Alright, so there you have it guys. So that is the story of the King of Fighters All-Star, the WWE crossover edition. Um, yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, share it to your friends, I'll leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Until next time guys, peace out.